Just out here at the Eagle Copper property and what I'm doing is sampling a couple areas in this outcrop. You can see the oxidation there. You have mineralization throughout this entirety of the bedrock here. But you have a couple areas where you have obvious veining right here. You can see there's a darker oxidation of the rock and you can see malachite staining. So I'm going to pull a couple pieces out of that place there. As you can see where you got your epidotization, you have mineralization as well, calcopyrite in veinlets like this as well as disseminated. See that? That continues through this entire outcrop around the bend. But then you have another obvious vein structure here running up this way and going down as it comes down it widens and uh, presumably goes underneath the road. So we'll get a sample from here and we are going to get a sample from this other area right here. So we'll start right here first piece I pulled out you can see the copper sulfides and malachite look at that there's definitely some nice calcopyrite gonna have some good copper values looks like some magnetite maybe a little boronite but that's that's massive sulfides there so that's from right here we're gonna pull out some more pieces, we'll take a look at those, then we'll go sample the other two areas. So we got our sample here. Calcopyrite. A bit of boronite. And you got some magnetite in there. Lots of nice pieces coming out of there. The lens appears to be about 30 to 35 centimeters wide. So this vein widens to about 75 centimeters down at the bottom. Up closer to the middle, it's about 25 30 centimeters of massive sulfides with magnetite calcopyrite. The mineralization is identical from this side to that side. As you can see, your calcopyrite and magnetite. I took a representative sample across the bottom here. A little bit more oxidation, but the, the calcopyrite and magnetite content appears to be the same. And it's likely that all these little veins, you can see there's another one here, another one there. These are all part of a larger structure and just essentially fingers that lead to a larger occurrence somewhere in this mountainside. 
Now I'm about 30 meters below the road and you can see the bedrock still has calcopyrite disseminated. This is just a random piece I hammered off here. That's the old road up there. I'm about 50 meters down now. A lot of these rocks here are mineralized. And while these could be float rocks, it's a little bit of a ways to travel, all things considering. Here's a couple more. You can see the malachite, calcopyrite. Those two pieces there, I found up on the top here broken. And there's samples all over the place with mineralization. So I'm on the other side of this mound here, below the showings, below the road. Climbed down about 75 meters. I've been hammering chunks of bedrock right here. I just hammered this off. You can see the little patch of calcopyrite. So there's mineralization over this entire mound.